cooling of air that has become saturated with water vapor also produces clouds and fog. For example, when moist air at the lake's surface cools, you see the result, a thin fog. The temperature at which water vapor begins condensing is called the dew point. Clouds and fog mean that dew point temperature has been reached. Of course, dew point temperature also depends on how much water vapor is available. And that can vary tremendously from about 4% here to less than a quarter of a percent here. So at least two things affect the formation of clouds, amount of vapor present and temperature. But what if you could put a piece of this cloud stuff under a microscope? Would it show any kind of structure? With a plastic slide, some ice, and a breath tube, you can observe what clouds are made of. Tiny spheres of water. If these microscopic drops were suspended in air, they'd be called cloud droplets. Cloud droplets can form or vanish in seconds, depending on the dew point. This rapid shift of water between vapor and liquid is at work wherever clouds are building or dissolving. Something that can be observed more easily if time is sped up photographically. The results make normal activities look a little strange but time-lapse studies are useful for observing the behavior of clouds. For example, these clouds are forming over a mountain range, but as they drift away over the desert, their cloud droplets begin evaporating in the warm desert air, cloud behavior that is hard to see in real time.